Boy, were we gifted with this gorgeous scene these last couple days in Southeast Ohio. Look how beautiful the campus of Ohio University is with all the snow on the ground here in Appalachia. Hi there and welcome to the broadcast. Kent State and Ohio, the two best teams in the MAC East square off today. Ohio's won the last four, but the last two games, however, Ohio and Kent State, it's ended in a two point ball game. Hi there, once again, welcome to the broadcast with Tony Rush. My name's Jake Cremata. And Tony, why is this always such a competitive game between these two schools? Well, because they match up extremely well. And misses short, hooks, flips to Geis, underneath. Four seconds left, Johnson with it. At half court, it's Johnson. Oh, she baked it in! Six left to shoot, Johnson on the steal. She too, up and home. Point ball game, Ohio in front of Kent State. Peyton Geis for a three, got it! She gets her feet underneath her, good reload with the hips. Katie Barker tries to respond and she does. Leave it to Cece. How about the handles from Hooks? And the foul! Asia Dingle will trigger. Ohio 41, Kent State 39, 428 left for the third quarter. Dingle gets it into Blackford, gets it back to Dingle, and Kent State quickly into their front court with Carter. Short. Rebound, Kroll rips it out of the, I should say rips it away from Shumate. Kent State is one for nine shooting this quarter. Johnson steps back, bullseye. Now it's just a little one-on-one -on -one situation right there. And off the between the legs, Shumate gets back on her heels. And you don't want to do that against Johnson because she'll make you pay. Steal for Ohio, hooks all alone in the front court. Ohio's outscoring Kent State 14 to two in this third quarter. Now speaking of making you pay, CeCe Hooks will do that, another steal for Hooks. Six points after not having any at halftime. 6-0 run for Ohio over the last 36 seconds. Dingle gets in the lane, a good block underneath for Kroll. Oh, Kroll's done an outstanding job of rotating over. She's the last line of that defense and she does a very nice job rotating over and contesting without fouling and that's a huge key right there. Megan Carter inbounds for Kent State. Bounces it into Dingle. Runs into a double team. Looks for help and finds help in Shoemate. Seven left to shoot. Shoemate top of the arc. Off balance shot. That pinball's home for the freshman. 15 points for her today. Well, she cuts the ball back off the dribble. And then, it, you know, she recognizes she has a height advantage, so she just decides to take the jumper. Four point ball game, Ohio in front of Kent State. Peyton Geis for a three. Got it! Wow, big three by Geis. That's Seven. Her, yeah, because that's her first one on the season. Seven points for Geis. Yeah, she was 0 for 8 before that, Tony. 48 41. Ohio extends their lead and outscoring Kent State 17 to four in this third quarter. Blackford misses the hook and a whistle in favor of Ohio. It's gonna be on Blackford. She has three now. Yep, officials got her over the back. Now you can see the frustration by the coaching staff of Kent State and even some of the players. You know, Ohio had it in the first half. Now you've got Kent State now on the receiving end of some things and they're not happy. Yeah, Todd Starkey in his fourth year has done a fantastic job getting Kent State and rebuilding this program. Peyton Geis dishes to Johnson. Throws the three and it rims short. Johnson now two for nine from outside the arc today. Not a good day for somebody that hits over 40% from outside the arc. Annie Young, a couple of jab steps. Dingle down the middle. Gets a friendly bounce off the rim. That's a really good read by Dingle. She takes the ball straight down the paint and recognizes Geis rotating over, so she does a floater with the left hand. Johnson dribble handoff, hooks for a corner three. Strong, Kroll tracks down the basketball, almost loses it, twirls in the lane. And misses short, hooks, flips to Geis, underneath. How about the on-ball defense by Hooks? Did a nice job staying with the play, and that time moving her feet so well, but then she's so quick with the hands, pokes the ball out, finds her teammate, outstanding work there. 
Peyton Geis, a new career high, nine points. And a whistle. It's gonna be on Burke. And Monty Burke, even though Ohio has a lot of key players in foul trouble, Burke not one of them. That's her first. Look at this again, Ohio's all-time career steals leader finds Geis, and good awareness by Geis to recognize Hooks needed help. Absolutely, and stays with the play, right? And I'll tell you, the best thing that Hooks did was she kept her feet moving, and she overplayed the ball. She was trying to force the spin, and that's why Geis stayed with it. And, um, you know, fortunately for Hooks, she was able to come up with the steal. Nice little tag team effort there. Another turnover for Kent State. That's their fifth turnover in this quarter, Tony. Mm -hmm. Five of their 10 